Hey, what's up everybody? My name is James Singler. I'm with Fight Fitness. I'm gonna show you basically how to do the right clinch, okay? I see a lot of people out there, they're doing the wrong clinch, MMA fights, not quite working out, they can't get their knees in the right way. We'll go over the basics really fast. All right, one thing we need to do is we need to put a one hand over the other hand. No interlacing fingers, nothing, no two pinkies connected or any of that crazy stuff. One hand right over the other hand. Pretend like this is the head up here, okay? So I'm putting one hand over the other hand and I'm keeping my elbows down towards. If I leave them up, the head will come out or it'll hit me with a body shot. He'll, he'll land his own knees, which I don't want. I'm gonna pull him down here and bend his body over. When his body is upright and I have him in the clinch, I can't knee him effectively here, okay? When I bend him over and his head is below my head, now I can create a lot of power on my knees here. He's upright, my knees are skimming off the front right here, okay? Now when he does stand up like this, I can still continue my attack, but I need to make sure the knees come from the side, like body shots, okay? A lot of people will tell you to knee like this. Well, if I was uh, using my arm instead of my leg, I wouldn't be hitting them like this to the body. I'd get my arm out and I'd hit it here, solid, okay? So they're feeling all that mass behind that little knuckle. Same way with my knee. If they're upright and getting away from me, I'm going to bring my knee up and hit it from the side. Just like a body shot, here. Okay? So I'm here, I'm up, I'm to the side, he's standing up on me. This way. This way. This way, right here. We've got to come in from the side. Alright? The other thing, he stands up and I don't want a knee anymore. I can break an elbow. Okay, if I'm not doing too hot in the stand-up, I'll break and take down. Alright, so you need to make sure you have different options to go to when you're in the clinch. Okay, let's run through those three just one more time. If he's standing in front of me and I clinch him, one hand over the other, elbows down, and I use my body weight to pull him down, I can drive the knees into the sternum, drive the knees into the head. Okay, he stands upright on me, trying to get away from me. I'm going to bring my knee in from the side, hard, in from the side, hard, just like a body shot, okay? Stands up, I'm going to elbow, elbow, all right? If he stands up again, I don't want to stand up with him, I'm going to clinch and go down, take him down for a takedown, okay? So in that position, you got those three options to go to, all right? They bend, knees up right away, start firing. They get upright, try to get away from you. Knees to the side, knees to the side, okay? Also, elbows. Again, if he backs up on me, I can take down, okay? That's pretty much the gist of the clinch. Main things we gotta focus on is our hand placement. Go watch Anderson Silva, Rich Franklin. It's one of the greatest clinch fights you'll ever see. Anderson, he has an awesome clinch. One hand, right over the other, nice and simple. Elbows down and tight and he just went to work. Boom, boom, plastic surgery later. Now it's how it went for uh, Rich Franklin. All right, good work guys.